look at the first term in the brackets. We need to take the second spatial derivative of the expansion of EZ, which means we need N, capital N here, the interpolation functions, to be twice differentiable. But so far we have chosen N1 and N2 to be linear functions. And they have the form a slope times x plus they could have some constant in general. So if we take the first spatial derivative of n1 or n2, say n1 d, d, dx, then we're going to get the slope of n1. And the same for n2, we're going to get the slope of n2. But then if we take the second spatial derivative of n1, we're going to get 0 and the same for n2. So the second spatial derivative will be equal to 0. If half of the equation we want to solve, the, this wave equation, is always equal to 0, we're not really solving the full wave equation. So what can we do about this? Well, what we can do is apply the integration by parts. Let's see how this helps us. Using the integration by parts, we can rewrite an integral of the form uh, u dv as the summation of two terms, uv minus v du. So let's just consider the first term of the first equation on the previous slide, so the first element equation. Just while we apply the integration by parts here, for convenience, I'm going to write ez instead of the summation or the expansion of ez. So let's write it in this form. We're going to have an integrate from x1 element to x2 element. And then we have a coefficient, w1. And then we have uh, d, the second spatial derivative with respect to x, dx. If we separate the two spatial derivatives, we get uh, this is equal to x1 element, x2 element. I'm going to put w1. And then in front, I'm going to put d dx and dez dx dx. So now we can identify that this is u and this is dv which is equal to v prime dx. So as a result, the quantity in the brackets here is equal to v. We can recognize that v is dez dx. And since w1 is a function of x, we have what u is equal to, and du is going to be w1 dx dx and that's because w1 is a function of x. Now we have all the terms that we need to apply the integration by parts, written out here for convenience, to the first term of the first element equation. So for the left side, which I'll write out first, we had that on the previous slide, x1 element to x2 element is w1, and for dv we have d dx d e z dx dx and that is equal to u which we identified as w1 v which we said is de z dx and all of this is evaluated from x1 element to x2 element minus integrate from x1 element to x2 element of v which is dez dx, du, which is dw1 dx dx. We would get an analogous, analogous equation for the first term of the second node equation. So here I've written out more clearly the equation that we just developed on the previous slide. That's this one right here. And in the second equation, I've included the analogous integration by parts applied to the first term of the second element equation. 
Now, looking at these two terms on the right-hand side, this is what we'll, we'll be using. Did we solve the problem that we had where the expansion of EZ was not twice differentiable? And what do we have now instead? 